Uh, Corky, you're on the air. Hey, hey now. Hey now. Who's this, Howard? Yes. Yeah, how you doing? Listen, that auto show, Ronnie doesn't know anything about cars. And uh, I'd like you to give me that shot to talk about cars. What did Ronnie do wrong? Well, he talked about the Camaro, like he ragged on the Camaro. And the Camaro is the finest car to come out of... Uh, Chevy since 1969 Camaro. I mean, even talking about Megan Fox, when the movie, when she was acting like a bitch to him, and, and then the car turned into a new car, she jumped right on his uh, LaBeouf, you know? She was she was buffing his dick right after she got into the new Camaro, you know? And the cars are great, and, you know, they're pretty much, you know, going to take off. Corky says cars. you don't know anything about cars. What, what hey, Corky, is this Corky who was married to Miss Howard Stern for a while? That's me. Yeah, of course. Oh, wow. That's what I thought. Yeah. So, what do you what do you know about cars? <laughs> I, I know everything about. Yeah. Cars. Good. Okay. So, what what about the Camaro? What about the Camaro? Yeah, it's a piece of shit. It's an X. It's an XLR. It's a Cadillac. It's built on a fucking Cadillac fucking goddamn platform. It's a Cadillac. Dude, the car is. It's a piece of shit. Go look at the Dodge Challenger. That's a retro car. That's a real retro car. Okay. You don't know shit, pal, and right. you're not going to get my show. You're not getting on my show, so Let fuck me, yourself. Let's, let's hear a little about what, what he said. You, know you don't know nothing. You're talking to guys about Hondas and, and freaking Hondas. People want to talk about their cars. They want to talk about, you know, the industry. That's what they, they were talking about, dude. You should open your ears. That's what they were talking about. They wanted to know about leasing, which are fucking American cars. You can't lease one. What do you about know leasing? about, man? You don't know shit. <laughs> People don't want to talk about leasing. Or anything. That's what they wanted to talk about, dude. That's what they were calling in about. It was a show about why the car industry is in trouble in a lot of cases. Uh, this ain't Hot Rod Magazine, pal. <laughs> it's a fucking auto show. Hey, it's an auto show, and the Z06 and the ZR1 is garbage too, right? No, I didn't say that. Did you hear me say that? No. I said the Camaro's a piece of shit. That's what I said. Well, isn't this all an opinion? Well, even to say something like that, it shows you have no knowledge. Yeah, okay. And you got knowledge. Yeah, you got all the knowledge in the world. That's why I got the audio show and you don't. 446 pack with a 410 day in the rear. Yeah, okay. That's a, that's a Chrysler product, pal, not a GM product. Seems like Ronnie knows something. I mean, everything you've mentioned, he is an expert on it, seems like. But he doesn't uh, know anything. Ask about him that. some. Ask him a question. Ask him a question. Yeah, yeah. ask me a question. Yeah, questions when you ask All somebody right. something. <laughs> now I'm not wasting my time with this guy. Wait, I want to hear him what ask does you. He know? What, what does he know? Let me hear. Throw off your headphones. What does he know? Uh, you're doing well. You're holding your own. Right. What do you mean? What do I know? What kind of questions no. do I ask him? Why do you want to ask me? You say Ronnie knows nothing. Uh, ask him something. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, what's the horsepower rating on the new ZR1 uh, Corvette? Oh, I, I'm, I'm supposed to know that. No, in I mean, my ask head. him a question about the auto well, industry. Well, if you're a car person, you'd know it in a second. How about the Z06? You know that? But, no, I don't. But but but, but, but you're right. taking so one you area know? of something you study. Yeah, like something you know. Uh, like yeah. what's general knowledge stuff? Yeah. If you have a question, general about knowledge. Yeah, what, call into are... my show. And what's the question you're going to ask? How many wheels run an average show? car? Ronnie, yeah, it is my show, fuckface. Right. Fuck yeah, exactly. Ronnie, you were such a well, you call up here with this whole shit. Wait a minute, dude. You call up here with this whole shit attitude. What do you mean? What shit attitude? Right away, it's, I don't know what I'm fucking. You get on there, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. If I didn't know what I was talking about, why would they have me on the show, stupid? Because you're an idiot. Yeah, that's why they have me on the show? I don't think Howard puts people that don't know what they're talking about on the show. What? All right, I'm going to ask you easy questions against Ronnie about cars, yeah. and we'll see how you do. All right, here's an easy one. What make of cars has the nickname Silver Star? Don't answer, Ronnie. Let him uh, answer it first. Mm. Silver Star? I don't know. Cadillac? That's, I never even heard of it. That's wrong. Do you know, Ronnie? Is that the Bentley? It's the Mercedes Benz. Oh, sorry. All right. All right. All right. No, so neither one of you know that one. All right. Here's an easy one. What color are most Ferraris? Red. Do you agree or disagree? Well, it's between red, between red and orange. 
What do you say? Well, red. Red. Your mind. Yeah, I would say red. All right, you're both right. What was the most recent? What was the most recent generation change for the Honda Civic? When was the most recent generation change for the Honda Civic? Last year. Is he right? No, he's wrong. He is wrong. You're right. Yeah, it changed probably about when they went to the little fastback looking one. It was probably four or five years ago. 2005 to 2006. Nice. That's correct. Ronnie was right. You were wrong. Right. Well, he's like people what? want to Ten call years? up and talk about Hondas. But that's what they've called up about, dude. I didn't. I didn't tell them what to call up about. Right. That's what people what called about. about. You got to be well versed in right. every car. I didn't tell them what to call about, dude. Right, here's an what easy are you getting on my case for? What material is a Chevrolet Corvette made of? The body. I know that. Oh, he's the, gonna... the Chevrolet Corvette's made out of sixty-one, uh, sixty-one S aluminum. Aerospace and carbon fiber floors. Do you agree with him? No. no. What is it? Fiberglass. It's always been Ronnie fiberglass. Is correct. We're talking about the chassis. What no, material? What material is a Chevrolet Corvette body made out of? It's fiber. Oh, all right. Yeah, fiberglass. Oh, I, I, yeah, so out of, out of it. it. Chassis schmassy. Now man. wait a second. So Ronnie got two right so far, and you got no right. No, come and, on. I was talking about the chassis. Ronnie didn't have. He a asked you about the body. I got five hundred dollars from Man Groomer. Can't believe this. <laughs> wow. All right. Here's another one. This is like a medium question. Difficulty. What was the first vehicle to have AWD, Corky? Four-wheel drive. Uh, the Porsche. Do you agree, Ronnie? No. What do you think? Uh, I believe it might have been Mercedes. Actually, I mean, it could have been the Jeep. Uh, yeah, actually, you're both wrong. It's the Audi. Oh, the Audi Quattro. I knew that. Quattro. Shit. Because mm -hmm. yeah, the Mercedes yeah, the still doesn't offer it in every model. It's yeah, all right. That's true. Yeah. All right. One last one. How many Corvette generations are there, Corky? Wow. Right. That's a tough one. All right. Give me a second. All right. Okay. Come on. Bet you Ronnie will know. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Ronnie doesn't know. 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 You agree or disagree, Ronnie? I think it's seven. Corky is right. Six wow. it is. It's only six. Thank you. All right, Corky. You think it's seven. Yeah, I'll fuck you, man. Well, what do you drive? What do you, what do you drive? What do you care what I drive? What do you drive? Tell them what you drive. I drive an 07 Denali. Oh, I drive an 07 SRT Super V Charger. You know wow. What that is? Oh, wow. You're great, man. Do you know what that is, Ron? You're awesome. Yeah, I know what it is. <laughs> You're awesome. I wish I was you, dude. I really do. <laughs> right, right. Let's see what the audience says. I think they... Um... Maybe Ronnie and this guy should do a show together. Yeah, Maybe. No, thank you. I like that. Yeah. Uh, Mike, what, ooh, I lost Corky. I had him on hold. Oh. I had him on permanent. Oh, fuck. Stop losing Corky. G Gary, get Corky back. Mike, what do you want to say? What's up, Howard? It's Military Mike. How you doing? Hey, hey Military Mike. How's it going, Robin? Hey, I just wanted to say that uh, I like Corky. I think he's uh, he sounds pretty good. He sounds more interesting than that fuck Ronnie. Yeah, good. Well, uh, so you're for Corky replacing Ronnie? Oh, of course. I mean, that guy sounds like, I mean, a, a, well, a lot more educated than uh, Ronnie does. Oh, like yeah, definitely. Using all those cuss words. Replacing Ronnie on the car show or as the head of Howard Security? I mean, maybe Fuck, both. Fucking both. Hey, uh, Corky. Listen, Ronnie's such a pussy. I would come up there and let him punch me in the stomach. Oh, here we go. Here go we ahead. Go. Let me hear what you would do. <laughs> here we Wait, go. What would you do? Start again, Corky. What would I, I you? Will come up there, I will come up there, stand there, and let him punch me in the stomach with all his might. <laughs> all right? Without even flinching, just to show you what a pussy you know nothing about. What does that have to do about cars, though? I don't know. In honor of Artie finishing the, you know... Um, well, uh, M Military Mike says he, he wants you to replace Ronnie. Mm. <laughs> well, of course. And listen, Howard, Howard, my yeah. first car was a 70 440 GTX six-pack. You know, I bought the car. I owned it for a couple of weeks. They ended up returning it for a 69 Charger RTSE 440 410 Dana rear. I still have the window sticker from the car. Okay, right? so what does that I mean? I drive a truck. I drive a Western Star with a quadplex transmission. I'm probably the only one in the country that even knows how to drive that. Fuck oh, yeah, Corky. Corky. You shit, man. Mm, wow. Mike, you like him. Fuck yeah. Put that, put that motherfucker on at least for one show. I guarantee you he'll fucking tear Ronnie apart. <laughs> I tell you, Ronnie, the next show I would really like you to have Corky on as a guest. Come on, Ronnie. Yeah, I really would. 
I think it's interesting. Hey, too bad he's 383 Roadrunner. Hey. What's that? Hey, uh, hey, Howard. Yeah. Can I ask Artie a question? Or I tell Artie something? Go ahead. Hey, Artie, man, I think uh, your reality show will be a hit, dude. Uh, everyone loves you. I mean, there's a lot of haters out there, man. I think you do this, you, you do really well on it. All right, All right so that... you vote for it. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, he, he's a legend already. I mean, All you know, right, I he does. He, even if the show is boring, I mean, we're still going to love him. You know what I mean? Sounds good. Thank you. Let's get back to the uh, the car show, though. Do you feel Ronnie should be the host, or do you think Horky should be the host, Mark? Hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, uh, let me, you know, let me just say, uh, Ronnie knew you for, uh, umpteen years, and you asked him for one thing to get you a fucking limo that you can ride in. <laughs> he couldn't even do that. Thank you. That, Thank you. Dude, that was, so, that was, I mean, that was three years ago now. It was three years ago, in all fairness to Ronnie. Well, I mean, you know, how many years did he know? You couldn't even fucking pick up. You couldn't even get into the thing. That was three years ago when Ronnie was 62. Right. Right. <laughs> um, so, Mark, do you want Ronnie to do the show with Corky, or do you want Ronnie out of the show and have Corky replace him? I think he's trying to pull a John the Stutterer and be mm -hmm. all fucking solo because he doesn't want to be shown up. I think you have to have a, you know, a, a match or versus. I would listen to that. Oh, you I don't give a shit. He can come in. I don't care. You don't even care. I don't care. He can come in. Ron, uh, first of all, you're, you're doing very well in this argument. I mean, I think you'd be fine. The two years would I'm, be great. Dude, I, don't, I don't care. You I like, can come in. I like I listening care. to you argue with him. I don't right. give a shit. He can come in. But, he did, but uh, Dan, go ahead. What do you think? I think they ought to co-host a show right after Stuttering John and High Pitcher or uh, High Register Sean. Yes, I, I would listen to that. I would too. Uh, let's go to Mike. Mike, go ahead. Hey, Howard, what's going on? Hey, hey, buddy, Robin. Hey. hey, listen, this guy Corky, he stand, he sounds like he's one of those guys from back in the '80s that sits back in his old uh, rocking chair and wants to talk about these '70s and '80s retro cars. People right now well, want to. Uh, I got a 2007 Super V. Well, people want to turn have to talk about the automotive industry. I'm in the car business for 15 years. People don't want to hear about these old 1980 Corvettes with 440. Yeah, we're talking about new challenges. Just talking about. Corvettes. Are you saying, Mike, uh, Corky? Corky, excuse me, uh, Mike. Are you saying that Ronnie knows current cars better than Corky? Obviously, Corky hasn't said a thing about the industry and what's going on with the economy today in the automotive industry. He's talking about a 1987 Corvette with a ZX6 or whatever the hell he's shoving up his ass. What are you talking about? What's this guy talking about? Right now. I'm talking about brand new to old. It doesn't make a difference. Old collectors, whatever you want to talk about. All right, Mike, go ahead. You're on the air with Corky and Ronnie. Hey, what's going on? Hey. Well, I, think yeah. that definitely, I definitely think that uh, Ronnie should keep the show. Ronnie's informative. He's funny. Uh, he was growing the GM guy uh, last week on the show. I think he does a pretty damn good job. So I think he should definitely keep the show. And if this guy wants to latch on, let him start his own fucking show. Right. You say that Ronnie does the show and we don't need Corky on the show. Absolutely not. You can't give any old douchebag his own show. I mean, Ronnie <laughs> knows what we want to hear. talking about old douchebag. Give me a break. What the hell are you talking about? First of all, buddy, the new Camaro's made out of what? plastic, motherfucker. The original one's what? made out of metal, what? first that? of all. What's that? Uh, I'm not even going to play this fucking game, dude. Ronnie, you need to keep right. your show, buddy. Uh, I got it. Thank you very much. Let's go to John. John Kishmer and talk us around from Fall Rivers. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, this, this, this guy, Clark, he's, he's a jamook. He's the only guy in the country that's still driving a 20-speed transmission in a truck. It's a two-speed transmission. Everyone else is an automatic. The guy's a moron. All right, right. There you go. I'm driving old school, buddy. <laughs> driving old school, why? Everyone else is up with new technology. What, what are you doing? Still driving well, I'm, I'm driving a container truck with a quadplex. Yeah, 24 speeds. So you got a two-speed tranny. Good for you. <laughs> What are you pulling? What are you pulling? I love what you listen to this. I love I drive anything. I drive fuel. I drive water. I drive freight. I've driven everything. You're a moron. You're the only guy in the country still using a Neanderthal transmission. What's the matter with you? 20 speed. 20 speed. All you're doing all day long is shifting. Everyone else is just mashing the mashing on the throttle like a car. What's the matter with you? Get with the program, dude. Well, Corky, you're being challenged by a lot of the fans. Alive, alive, alive. I'm, I'm not racing around. I've been driving for years, brother. I've been driving for over 30 years. I can drive anything. I drove a quadruplex 20 some years ago. What's the matter with you? In other words, so why, dri problem? why drive an old, an old kind of uh, system when you can have the new system? Exactly. Well, I have right. a system. It's like a car. A girl, yeah, a girl can drive a truck now. All you got to do is match on the pedal like a... 
like a car. It's an automatic. It's all automatic transmissions. Not a thousand more. Yeah, let's keep those women out of the truck. Yeah, well, yeah, God forbid. Uh, Evan, go ahead. You're on the air. Yeah, I'm going to tell Corky he's a fucking retard and Ronnie's a fucking man. Ronnie, well, Ricky man, got a fucking tattoo. Corky, you're a fucking asshole. Yeah, now, now, Corky, do you have any tattoos? Ronnie has. How many you have now, Ronnie? Uh, six. Six. Five. Do you, five, do you sorry, even five. have any tattoos? Five. No, I don't have any tattoos. Oh. Oh. Ronnie wins. <laughs> Ronnie wins. You know, you... Ronnie has a shark's uh, head with a baby, a baby head in the shark's mouth, and the and the shark is getting blood out of the baby. <laughs> he also has a salamander. Right. Yeah. No, I have, I, have a, I have a panther. Is that a panther or a salamander? No, a panther. It's a panther. Oh, right. Listen, dude. Yeah. Go ahead, tell him, Ronnie. Do whatever you want to come in and do the show. Be my guest. All right. All right. Maybe he'll invite you on as a guest, Corky. Sounds good. No uh, problem. Leave your phone number with Brandano, okay? Yeah, I mean, we'll, ha we'll have Tim call you. Ronnie is an expert. I mean, have you ever owned Playboy mud flaps? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. Well, let me tell you something. Ronnie, when I met him, had Playboy locks on the car. Playboy mud flaps. A mullet. Valve caps. He had Playboy. I had, a, I had an, an ex-wife that was in Playboy. That's right. She did. There Beautiful you go. girl. Yeah. Yeah. What's better? Nothing better than that. Hey, Howard. Yeah. Let me ask these guys. Uh, let me see if you guys know this. So There's a neutral question about cars. My first car that I bought for $400 was an AMC <laughs> Matador. Okay? Mm. AMC Matador. Can either one of you tell me what engine was in that? What size engine and what was in there? 390. Ron? Well, they had a, they had a straight six in them also. So I don't know which one you had. Give me a cup. Give me a couple. It could have had straight six. Could have been a, a V8, like he said. Okay, it was a V8. Okay, mm -hmm. so so you're both right. But what, 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 what size? What that was a? Can I take a guess? Go ahead. Three o four. It was a three o five V8. Shit. Yeah, well, I think they were using Chevy engines in them then. Oh, I think that was a three o five motor. All right, yeah. let's go to uh, wow. Bill. Guys, you guys Bill, your shit. you're on the air. Uh, hi. Uh, yeah, they're both idiots. Uh, <laughs> Every, everybody knows that a Western Star is just one step above a Volvo, so nobody's proud of driving one of those. And the Cadillac XLR is based on the Corvette Z06 chassis. And so is the new Camaro, sir. Well, then, so if, the, if, if, the, if the Camaro is such a piece of shit, then the Corvette Z06 would be a piece no, of shit. No, it's not, too. because if you look at the body style of the new Camaro, it doesn't look like a retro Camaro like the Dodge Challenger does. Sure it does. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Sure look at it from the like look at it from the side view, son. Okay. Yeah. It looks like it looks like an XLR. And by the way, let's not challenge Ronnie on this one because you know Ronnie has a big giant tire in his basement. <laughs> Two of them. Two of them. Two. As he sits in it. No, I don't sit. It's, it's a coffee table, Robin. What's your no, sit not, on a coffee no, table? No, it's not a coffee table. What describe again what, what these tires do? are? Yeah, two NASCAR tires. Right. From. <laughs> from where? From, from an ex-driver that used to race, Ernie Irvin. Right. Okay. Who is your hero? My hero. Right. Okay. And they're, si they're sitting on Mitch the floor. Mine. And yeah. by the way, Corky, do you know that Ronnie has a collection of, um, what do you call it, like toy cars, right? Matchbox? What's that? You have a collection of Matchbox match cars? Not Matchbox, dude. What do you have? Diecast. Diecast cars? Die cast How cars. many do you have? in your, in your Probably room? about 100. 100. 100 to 150. Now, can you beat that? He has over 150 toy cars in his uh, basement. <laughs> and he's 60-something years old. Now, How many toy cars do you have? Yeah, how many toy cars do you have? How many toy cars do you have? What kind of racing car does Robin have? I have the Z06. Oh, Z06? That's your racing car? Yeah. What, an old one? No, I got the new, the one that was modified. Handmade. Just a nice one. Yeah. 505 horse? Yeah. Nice. Uh, what kind of chassis does it have? Yeah. Fiberglass. Fiberglass chassis. No, no chassis is fiberglass. Does it have the no, 61 S aluminum chassis. 61 S aluminum. S aluminum. Uh, uh, Mel, you're on the air. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Howard? Hey, now. I, I can't decide between Corky or Ronnie. Uh, Corky, how tall are you, and do you dye your hair at all? <laughs> Corky, do you dye your beard and hair, or do you uh, have beard. regular... No, I don't dye anything. You don't dye anything. Oh. Mel, how does that influence your vote now? All Corky, natural, huh? Corky's all uh, natural. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to go with Ronnie. Uh, have a cock off to decide. Yeah, guys, can you whip out your cocks and whoever has a bigger one gets the show? Hey, Corky, does your undershirt match your dress shirt? 
No. All right. High register, Sean. you lose, man. High register, Sean, you're on the air. Hey, 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 good morning. Good morning, high register. Um, I, 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 I wanted to put in a, a, a vote, a vote for, uh, this cor, 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 Corky Cat Cat. Cassidy, sounds good. You like Corky. Yeah, and, uh, I, I also, I, I also wanted to find out. We, we, we never found out. See, see here, see here, you got Ron, Ronnie in there. D does he, in fact, uh, d dye his pu pubic hair as well as his, uh, beard? Yeah, be honest about that. Have you, has your pubic hair gone gray? No. It has not. No. So you don't dye it? No. All right. And th uh, thanks, fucking Sean. Next time you come in here, you see how nice I treat you. <laughs> Dick. Uh, Irish John, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. Uh, Cocky should have just hung up. No wonder why Miss Howard Stern or whoever left him. The guy sounds like a total asshole, and he got owned by Ronnie. Good for you, Ronnie. Hey, Corky, uh, what I about your... owned by Ronnie. Corky, yeah. what, what about your love life? Do you, um, do you, how are you doing since uh, Miss Howard Stern left you? I'm doing all right. You getting any girls? Yeah. Not the way he's talking. Where are you living now, man? Who, Corky? No yeah, where's Corky live? Corky, where do you live now? In his I'm car. In the what? house that I was living in when I was married. He lives in the same house. Oh, so he's down south still. No, I'm right here in Brooklyn, no basin. You going to have him on the show? Why not? I'm not afraid of him. I live in an XLR. Ronnie's, uh, <laughs> Ronnie's on the phone. Let's say hi to Ronnie. Ronnie, hi. You stupid asshole. <laughs> now, why are you saying that to Corky? <laughs> You're a total asshole. Why are you saying that to Ronnie? You goddamn piece of shit. Easy. Wow. <laughs> you are such an asshole. You know what? You know why nobody invites you to anything now? Because you're an asshole. <laughs> All right, Ronnie. Thank you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's go to one final call on this topic, and then uh, I will tell you my decision. Keith, you're on the air. Yeah. Hey, I, I think Ronnie should pick up the latest issue of Car and Driver magazine, where they review the Mustang, the Camaro, and the Challenger. The Challenger comes in last. And uh, also, they review the Cadillac versus, I believe it's the M3 BMW, and the Cadillac beats the BMW. Okay, so that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about comparison. I'm just talking about the car, the way it looks. That's what we were talking about. As far as yeah, retro, I'm not works. talking about handling or anything like that. Is it, right, is it not the think... finest Camaro they built in 40 years, Ronnie, since 1969? No. You don't no, think the Camaro looks a lot like the 69? No. You see, Ronnie, well, you're, you're out of your freaking mind. Maybe, the, maybe, maybe the grill a little bit. That's maybe about it. A bit. Yeah, maybe the grill. I think that the uh, uh, take the a look at the Challenger. Like, like I said, and uh, I don't totally agree with what Corky says either. But um, you know, put a picture up of the '69 Bradley Sport next to the new Camaro, and put a picture up of the '70 Challenger and the new Challenger. Cousins, but. Okay, if that's an exact copy. But, okay, you know, that's all I'm saying, right, dude. Well, that's what I'm saying, dude. All right, but all right. you know, opinions are worth nothing. Go to the magazine and read uh, the reviews. And I'm not talking about reviews. I don't really care about cars, but I would listen to this. This is crazy. Uh, I love is, it. Yeah. This is fantastic. Right, this is a good show. Maybe the grill. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, congratulations uh, on your new Coppola film, Marty. Raging bullshit. Ah, uh, you know what? Stick to cars, not comedy, jerk off. <laughs> All right, whatever. Pop another pill. All right, <laughs> Corky. I you, wasn't the one married yeah. to the lunatic. It sounds oh. like to me what I am thinking, uh, based on this what little audition, if you will. Yeah, let, let him let him leave his number. Uh, let him leave. Uh, I'll put you on hold. And Ronnie will have I you on the show. I can't wait for this show. Yeah. We'll listen to him. Well, then I'll promo it that Corky is going to be on with Ronnie. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> you got to be on with the GM and, and the Nissan guy, though, too. Don't forget. No problem. You can keep the Nissan guy in the corner. All right. Whatever, All right. whatever man. Automotive. In a related story, I'm buying, uh, this is the truth, I'm buying a Dodge Challenger. That's oh, a nice car, man. Now you're talking. Yeah, well, I mean, do you, you know both what? agree I with that purchase? Listen. Definitely, dude. Listen. My friend just bought one. You can't oh, Ronnie. Yeah. Steve Saline just opened a company called SMS Motor Cars in California that uh, does custom challenges. The guy's a genius. He can build you, like, the nicest challenge. Well, I got a buddy. Uh, Is that necessary, Ronnie, to have a custom? No, you want to keep it original. Pristine, right? Yeah, yeah. In other exactly. words, what Corky's saying you Buy disagree with. Buy it from with. the factory. Go ahead. Leave it alone. Corky, what do you think about that? 
I think uh, if you want to sell for 425 horse, other than 700 horse, yeah, buy it from the factory and leave it alone. Well, I don't want to do 150, Corky. I just I'm, I want a Dodge Challenger to cruise around. I'm not looking to race anybody. I don't need that problem. What is it, Ronnie? All right. Everybody's going to Let me show you these pictures. And Jason's just Hold on. What are these pictures? This is the 69 Camaro and the 2009 Camaro. And what am and I looking at? Now he's going to bring in pictures of the 70 Challenger similar. and the new Challenger, okay? And what am I looking for? But to see how identical they look. And why do I care? They are you don't you don't care. All right. Well, All right, that's, supposed that's to be, their main argument. This is what they're right supposed now. to be doing. All right, let me let me let me talk to you for a second. Give me these pictures. Uh, <laughs> All right, here. get on microphone. All right, this what is man talk. I'm looking at the 1969 Camaro and I'm looking at the 2009 Camaro. Now, right. what is the point of this the argument? The point is when they built that Camaro, the new one, yeah. in 2009, it was supposed to look Almost identical to the 69 Camaro. Right. You tell me if it looks and the it same. And it does. No, it, it does, doesn't. It doesn't. Okay, so now Jason is going to bring in the 1970 Challenger and the 2009 Challenger, and then you tell me the difference. All right, so when they rebuilt the new Camaro, when they built the new Camaro, they right. were supposed to look like the old Camaro. They Correct. missed the mark? Are you saying it was a mistake because if they made it look like the old Camaro, they would have sold more? Well, they're just coming out for sale now. Right. So we'll see how much they sell. I see. I'm trying to understand all this man talk. Right. It's it's boggling my mind. It's I boggling agree mind. with Ronnie and Howard Corky. I think they're both beautiful cars, but they're not that much the same. Well, wait till you see the Challenger. Yeah, no, I know what the Challenger. That's why I'm getting one. Corky feels... Like but you know what the 70 Challenger yeah, looks like? Yeah, sure, absolutely. It's so, identical. So you're saying Corky... It feels even with the challenge. Well, he's a GM guy, and there's nothing wrong with that. Obviously. No, I'm, 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 I'm a GM. I'm a GM guy too. I'm an American car guy. I've always owned American cars, and that's why I'm so pissed off at the American car industry right now for what the shit they're pulling. You can't lease a car. You can't even fucking buy a car you know, that's decent anymore. The 1970. I'm sure if you look at the new C28. Yeah, fine. Movie. You'll see that it looks almost exactly like the 69 Camaro. The 1970 Challenger and the 2009 Challenger do not look alike. They don't? No. But they're closer Wait a Let me see to what you got each here. other uh, than the Camaro. They're closer to looking alike. You know what? The styling cues, and that's what oh, they call it. The styling cues alike. are reminiscent, oh, but that's yeah. not a dead smack. Not it's a, not no. a dead it's ring. It's not a complete no. dead no. But it's similar. It's not dead smack, but it's, but more it's similar. Very similar. It's way more similar than the Camaro. Right. 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 Without a doubt. But, um, what color should I get? I'm thinking about the orange. Orange with black stripes. with black stripes. That's what I'm getting. Without a doubt, dude. I and put that. some big ugly decals with the Playboy no, Bunny no, on no, the back. No, no, I don't put nothing on it. Put the Playboy it. Bunny uh, yeah. on you the You know what I want for that? The, the challenge, you know what you the challenge need? is a cool car. You know what you need? A, a painting of a salamander on the hood. <laughs> That'll right. do. All right. All right. All right. Listen, I like, <laughs> I like the sound of this. Ronnie, you and Corky should at least experiment yeah, with it. I said below. fine, right. no Very problem. Good. All right. Corky, you no will be a special guest on Ronnie's show next time. Sounds good. All right. Thank you, Corky. Have a good day, man. All right. Thank All right. you. That's Corky. We do him years ago, and he's back on the scene. Thank that, you. That was funny, man. Yeah. All <laughs> right. Ronnie, good, good, good job. You, you right. hung in there, and you held your own. All right, man. Later. 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 Vegas, Rick's Cabaret, Vegas. Friday night. I'm, I got Vegas on the mind, brother. All right. There they are. The bond. All right, I got to take a break. When we come back, Steve Langford will be here. We will get to Robin's News and some other things right after these words. I've got uh, tons of email. Ronnie's show was on last night. JD's got to make a decision. Oh. On it. Judging by the email, I think Ronnie's going to get the hook. Well, I don't know. It's all up to JD. Listen to this. <laughs> yeah. JD was right again. The auto show tonight blows and as is, in fact, the most boring show ever. Mm. Bury this show with Ronnie and, oh, this is a terrible comment. Oh no! Did, yeah, they no, didn't I, go there. Did yeah, they? That was bad. Oh, I dear. didn't read this ahead of time. Yeah, no, oh, no, no, no. I won't read that. That's I was not going. Nice. That <laughs> okay, I, no need to get personal. All right. Our fans I only, can be vicious. I only caught the second half of the show, but that was more than I needed. Here are the problems: your audience does not care to listen to this. Two, they have such little to talk about that they have covered the same stuff several times on the different shows. Three. The only so-called experts are from the car dealership, so their advice is skewed to help them and not the car consumer. For example, they tried to sell that extended warranty as a great idea. Four, the broad on the show is an annoying know-it-all. Can't you just bring in the Sibian to make her interesting? <laughs> there may be an audience for this garbage, but surely not on the channels run by the king of all media. Uh, this one says, uh, J.D., you don't have a hair on your ass if you don't cancel this shitty show. What has changed? It is unlistenable. I'm 30 minutes into it, and I'm out. 
Did JD pull any clips? I believe you did. Did you pull clips? I pulled clips. Did you listen、oh. to the whole show? I listened to the whole show. Well, that seems to be an improvement. <laughs> With all the talk about the Ronnie Carr、we'll、show, I would tune in and check it out. I quickly turned the channel back to 100. I would rather listen to nails on a chalkboard than this horrible show. I got to tell you, I have, I, there's not one positive email.、Mm. <laughs> not one. But do you think that's because everybody loves seeing Ronnie miserable about not、mm-hmm. having his show? I don't know. It seems like people were. Really trying to like it, you know. It was they one, like Ronnie. It was actually one email that said that they they thought that the show was pretty good and informative, but he must have changed it for the worse because now this guy doesn't like it. <laughs> oh, by the way, the、uh, couple who crashed the White House—they're、mm-hmm. on the Today Show this morning.、Mm. Uh, so they must have paid the money, I guess. The right. I don't know.、There. I don't know. They、uh, were getting such heat; they might just need. The publicity. We, we all gave the car show another chance. We tried to bear it, but the show is just a piece of fucking shit. Ronnie cannot host a show. Save us, JD. <laughs> This guy writes some unlistenable dribble. I think he meant drivel, but okay. Why be a stickler on language? Some unlistenable dribble. Ronnie is not a good communicator. C o m m n i c a t o r. I do not want to hear about refinancing or a fucking Wayne Siegel commercial. <laughs> Kill it, JD. Howard, I want to thank you for airing Ronnie's show last night. My prescription for Ambien ran out, <laughs> and I've been having a hard time falling asleep lately. I tried everything: warm milk, counting sheep. Nothing worked. Finally, I gave up and tuned into Howard 101 and heard Ronnie's show. Holy shit! What a snooze fest! <laughs> That's the only, negative. The only thing that kept my interest was Ronnie saying, "What's your problem?" Every time someone called in, but even that got old after two callers.、Oh. Is that Ronnie's new thing? He says, "What's your problem?" Yes. Yeah. The chick is annoying. Those other two guys are annoying. I love Ronnie, but he has to understand the show just doesn't fit. Give JD his executive powers and get this show off the air.、Yep. I'd rather listen to one of those emergency broadcast tests that they used to run on the radio for an hour than Ronnie's car show. You're getting hammered here, bro. Yeah, I know. I mean, you, I, you, what do you think? I, I didn't expect it. Wow. <laughs> what, I was. I said as soon as we got off the air last night, I go, gonna get slammed like unbelievable. Even if the show is the greatest show ever. Here's a guy who says, "I love when Ronnie says,、uh, 'What's your problem?' when you when you pick up the phone every day." Yeah, okay. So I thought this was going to be a positive. He says that is simply the best way to introduce a caller ever. I thought these guys were supposed to be experts, yet they gave out some pretty inaccurate info. I love Ronnie. I actually find his part on the auto show entertaining. He seems like a car guy who just likes what he likes. The other alleged experts even appear to be shoveling as much bullshit as they can. <laughs> Anyway, it wasn't the most boring show ever. I hope it stays on. So here's your positive. Wow,、oh, there you go. <laughs> one out of six thousand. <laughs> I know you got you got hammered on this. I know, I knew I knew it was coming, man. JD, was there a no clip, matter what? Is there a clip you can play us to give us an example of how Ronnie did last night? Um, sure. Try、uh, go to JD one in red.、Uh, sure. Clip, clip three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what is Ronnie doing here? Can you set? Do you need to set this up?、Uh, I, I forget what it's called. I think it's called consumer credit issues.、Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into the consumer credit issues. How does it work? Can customers get credit?、Um, has th- have things improved since the last time we've been on the air? V- very slightly.、Uh, Not much.、Uh, can I appoint somebody to talk about this real quick? If yeah, you, you got so much, show, you got、buddy. so much to say. I don't, I don't. Sean King from King of Rock, go I, ahead. I just said it. What do you got to say? It's, it's 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 they've lightened up a little bit, but not much. Not to the point where we could be selling in the volume that we were accustomed to. Right.、Uh, there's customers coming in that、uh, we've had to give it back about five deposits this week <laughs> for people that normally <laughs> would be、uh, driving right now. But holy been, macro! Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what those guys are talking about. I mean, it sounds. Why、weird. would you even bring up that topic? Yeah, well, well that's what, hey, listen. They they made a format for me, and that's what I followed. Okay. What are you talking about there? Did you explain it to me? Yeah, because I don't understand the issue. Consumer what? Consumer credit. Yeah. Well, wh- wh- what's going on? If you want to get a lease,、yeah. or if you want to, you know, buy a car. Because it's impossible to get a lease, right? It's impossible to get credit now,、right. unless you, you know, you're over six hundred in credit. Right. Or you have to go to one of these really like shit companies where you pay like twenty two percent interest. Right. You know. It's called the mafia. <laughs> <laughs> it's the guy on the corner. The mafia doesn't even have the balls to give you twenty two percent. Yeah, it's like basically,、uh, you know, using a credit card. Right. You know, wow. If you have shit credit, you know. Well, I guess it's good information. I guess people feel maybe people were calling in, dude. I don't, I don't know. You know, it, it, everybody thought、uh, McClure, who produces the show, thought it was great. You、he、know,、did. yeah. I think he's afraid to tell you what he did. <laughs> dude, 
Dude, I told him, tell me the truth. I don't care. Yeah, tell I get me a, the fucking I get a, truth. I got a lot of memos from some of the higher ups after the show, and it didn't seem like they loved it. No. Like who? I don't want to say. Like who, Tim? Yeah. <laughs> He's the one who said it was good. He, he lies to you. Why is he lying? Why doesn't he tell the fucking truth, no. idiot? <laughs> Here's a guy, Stupid here's asshole. Here's a guy who listens to the show. Let's see what he has to say. Stupid asshole. Hi, you're on the air. How you doing? Who's this? Howard? Yes. Yeah, it's Corky. Oh, How's fuck it? him. Corky's just... <laughs> fuck <laughs> that piece of shit. Shut him off. Uh-oh. Let me wait on what I asked him. Oh, I don't want to hear your voice, man. Well, let's hear what Corky has I don't want to hear him. Let's hear what he has to say. Go ahead, Corky. Hey, listen, on the show, I, I would be able to teach people. You always ask how do people last, how do people last. I know how to last. I can weigh in on uh, how to have sex with your old lady while you're cheating on her and still, you know, have sex with the economy being the way it is. We could Corky, about- Ronnie tried to have you on. You left. What? Yeah. You left. Yeah, Ronnie- I had to leave because I didn't want to be you're, around those people. You're you know a psychopath. I mean? That's why you left. <laughs> what? You're a psycho. That's why you left. Yeah, I'm a psycho. Yeah. yeah look, at you, look at you, Ronnie. <laughs> I'm I'm calm as can be. You walked out of here sweating with your shirt off. Yeah, first of all, I walked over there six blocks. It was 100 degrees that day. Yeah, 100 degrees. <laughs> we didn't have 100 degree <laughs> fucking weather day in the summer. Come on. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Jared actually written me off. Jared? Yeah, when Stan was still at K-Rock. Corky, <laughs> all I know is we told <laughs> Ronnie to have you on the show. You said you could make the, the car show interesting. You knew everything about cars. And then you left. And then, and then you, you we get you up here and you act like a fucking lunatic and then you leave. Right. What do you mean acting like a lunatic? Everyone said you were whacked out. <laughs> What do you mean everybody said what that? Happened? Everybody said you were whacked out. <laughs> we don't, what do you mean? Sweating you don't like understand that? You're why in the you... bathroom every five minutes. And then you left? Uh-oh. Like, why did you leave? You never got on. You left. But I said I went to do the show with Ronnie. Yeah, well, well you were going to do the show with Ronnie. Ronnie was here. You, you gave a guy that couldn't even put a sentence together, the power to cancel it. Why don't you give me the power to fix it? <laughs> Come on, man. No. Corky, I gave to. you I gave you the power to fix it and you walked out. You never got well, on the air because you're you're a baby. What do you mean I'm a baby? You should have walked in there and shown us your stuff. You had you had a rare opportunity to get on there and you walked out because other people were on the show. Don't be a douchebag. Just get in there and do your thing. Well, I was trying to. No, you weren't. You walked out. You never even got in the studio. Did you ever get in the studio? He came in the studio. Yeah. We never even got on we got on the air. And he never, because he, he wasn't on right from the beginning. Right. He got all insulted and he started to sweat. <laughs> and he had to take his shirt off and he was running to the bathroom and then he ran to my shirt off. Yeah, he took his oh shirt off. Oh my God. Off. <laughs> and, then, and then he run, and then he runs, he runs over to Jim and he goes, I can't stay in this place anymore. And he runs out of the place. You're whacked out. It's like wow. that guy that went nuts in Michael Clayton. Corky, you're fucking nuts. <laughs> There was four. There was four other people in there. What's the big deal? There's five or six people in Howard's studio. You didn't run out of here. Listen, I don't want to be part of that. All right, look at it. It's the first. Well, what do you want to be part of? <laughs> you had an opportunity. You blew it. Could have changed it. You blew it. All right, fine. Yeah, it's good night. true. Go back to sleep, please. <laughs> Corky, it's the truth. Wow. How many yeah. guys get a shot? We we listened to you on the phone. You were entertaining. You made some good points. I said to you, okay, I'll give you a shot. Get in on Ronnie's show. Ronnie goes, I'm not working with Corky. We talked to Ronnie. Ronnie goes, all right, I'll work with Corky. I mean, Ronnie can't stand you, and he was willing to work with you. And then you come in and take your shirt off. And you show up. And you you sweat. sweat. You're sweating. You take your shirt off. And then you have to, I can't be in here. I'm freaking moon pants and sneakers on. It walked. It was 100 degrees. No, it was not 100 degrees. So let's say it was 100 degrees. What do you need to leave for? Go splash some water on your face. Yeah, calm yourself down. Well, he was in the bathroom enough time. There's air conditioning in here. I don't understand why you, what your problem is. What are you doing in the bathroom? Yeah. You were at 92 3 K Rock. Yeah. They gave me Shabian's number to call you up to do the show. I ended up talking to Jared. I've been talking to him for three years. Corky. Here's the facts. First of all, Sabian didn't work at K-Rock with us. Corky. Jared didn't work at K-Rock with us. Corky. <laughs> K-Rock, when you were at K-Rock, you gave me the phone number to Sirius to call over there. Corky. <laughs> yeah. All I know is, I, I got you down here. I put you on Ronnie's car show. 
and you walked off after two seconds. Right. Forget all the other details. Because other people, yeah, forget all the past. And, and because other people were in the studio, you can't do it. You just, What are you, a prima donna? Yeah, yeah, I mean, who are you? You're nobody. You, what you got to do is become somebody. You had an opportunity. Even if you'd gotten on for five minutes, you could have shined or shown. Yeah, so. Give me a chance to fix the show. So Forget, I gave you a chance. You How walked out. How many chances do you want? You're done. You didn't give me a chance. I came in <laughs> expecting to do the show with Ronnie. Yeah, Ronnie was sitting there. There were other people. That's right. You had car dealers there telling people all kinds of So crazy. you should have walked so in and said, what kind of fucking show is this? <laughs> yeah, you got a room full of car dealers. Why don't these guys leave? You should have You should have mixed it up. All right, well, it's my mistake. Give me another shot. Another shot. <laughs> well, we don't even know if this show still shot. exists. Who comes in with a gun this time? They'll give us a shot. I'm waiting. Here with Jay. I don't even know that Jay's going to keep the show on the air. Come on a cold day so your shirt's on. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, maybe we'll have you on in the winter. It was cold last night. It yeah. good it's got to be a winter show. For <laughs> it's hot we outside. Froze our, we froze our ass off in the studio last night. <laughs> it's hot outside. He couldn't yeah. do the show. I know. He was sweating, he man. Kept going, kept going to the bathroom. Yeah, he, what was up get, with that? You caught in a blizzard in the okay, bathroom? So why did you go to the bathroom so much? I don't know. I had to take a leak. What do you want? How many leaks do you have to take? <laughs> yeah, first time I went to wipe the sweat off my head, they had uh, spotlights on me. Oh, my God. Now you can't even have lights. <laughs> Holy shit. They had spotlights on them. What is wrong with you, man? <laughs> hey, hey, nobody had spotlights on you. That's studio lights. Hey. You want to work in the dark? Yeah, no, I don't want to work in oh, the dark. Oh, Howard TV was filming that night. Uh, oh, they, well, that's a camera. They had a camera. It's showbiz. Yeah. That's how it works, Corky. What are you going to do? Yeah. I don't maybe, know. What maybe, are you going to do, man? Maybe show business isn't for you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give me another shot. I can fix this shit. All this stuff is going to be the same, Corky. They're going to be lights. It would have been great. You had something to complain about. You could have gotten in there and go, look at these fucking lights. What are these lights? And, and he could have complained about the car dealers. Right. Get the fuck out. Right. Corky, I've been in the... You know, I don't like you guys. Get out. No, it would have been said, great. It said Corky left. Yeah, that's some and, that's some that's some uh, guy. And he's in, he is, he's insulting the chick who did absolutely nothing to him. Yeah, he should have insulted her right on the <laughs> yeah. air. Cork, I've been in show business for twenty years. I've always looked horrendous in these lights. Yeah, <laughs> Cork, you had yeah. an opportunity. You had a room full of people you could have screamed about, and you would have been entertaining. So give me a shot to fix the no, shot. You don't you don't have what <laughs> it takes. He keeps with the shot. The shot you, didn't, you had a you shot. Didn't, you didn't recognize what a good opportunity you had. You're not a broadcaster. You're right. You blew it. No, I didn't blow it. Give me a shot to fix the show. I mean, it's no. Crazy. What are you going to do? How are you going to fix it? You can't at even least... stay in the room. You're going to fix least... this from down and outside where it's cold? No shirts, <laughs> no service. <laughs> oh, and he's sweating. He's wiping sweat off his head. Look at him. Uh, oh. It's all these fucking lights. <laughs> all right. Corky, I don't know what to tell you. I gave you a shot. All right. Well, I don't know what to tell you either. I mean, uh, did Fair you listen? Not. Did you listen last night to Ronnie's show? Yeah, I heard the show. It was unbelievable. Horrible. Even, even the guy that called in with the twins, and he was getting rid of his car because he had he didn't have twins. He had one kid. Ronnie didn't even know what to tell the guy. You know, he wanted to change down for a smaller car. Hello, he I wasn't talking to the guy. The dealers were talking to him. I just right. answer the I answer the calls and I let the panel talk to the people. That's well, the whole idea. Sounds like a good advice to keep the car. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> what the fuck you want from me? Knock her up again, and he's gonna end up having to buy a bigger car. You should have told him to just keep it. All right, Corey. All right, thank you. All right, thanks for your advice. You know, it's easy on the sidelines. You had your shot, and you 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 you, you, you ran out. out. You ran out. Sweating. Well, give me another shot. What's nah, come problem? on, stop already. I don't really? Come on, stop her. Who even knows if Ronnie's going to get another shot? Well, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the show is on the ropes, Corky, because you didn't take the time to fix it. I, I brought this Corky in. He tells me he could fix it. <laughs> and then I put him in there. He runs out. He's all sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's some fix. <laughs> he, he ran out of there. I go, if you had a problem, go in there and straighten things out. Stop blowing some people around. Start making a complaint. Yell at him. Well, yell at him. Get the hell out. I don't like you. I was out of here. <laughs> Corky, you got to use your head. You've broadcast. You had a room full of opportunity. Well, my mistake. Give Every, me another shot. Everything bothers you. That's good. Get on the air and let it bother you. Maybe we could do the show from a Mr. Softy truck. You'll be nice and cool. 
<laughs> Ronnie all over Corky. <laughs> oh, the Ronnie at least shows up and does the show. Corky, I don't know. He talks a good game, then he gets in the room and he freaks out and runs out. Mm. He's yeah. in the bathroom every minute. Yeah. Wiping every time down. we turned around, he was in the bathroom. Lights are freaking him out. He was freaking out. He goes, yeah, that's he what I. That was the word I got. He couldn't handle it. He couldn't. He was cracked. Yeah, definitely. He cracked. Definitely Get cracked. Out of here. What are you you cracked, man. Admit it. You well, fucking cracked. Uh, look at your face. Yeah, cracked. You asshole. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> well, listen to what happened. He goes, "There's lights on. It's a TV camera. He's freaking out. The spotlights." Oh, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> I, I don't think this is for you, Carl. I was complaining about the air conditioning every morning for years. You were uncomfortable. But I was there. I was on the air complaining. You didn't leave. You should have complained on the air. That's interesting. Corky, if they ain't cracking, what is? You cracked. Right. You cracked up. Here. You freaked no, out. Then why'd you leave? The guy came, dude, the guy comes with a whole bag of notes. He's got notes. <laughs> He's got all kinds bad. of shit going on. Right. A whole no. plastic bag with notes in it and crap. I don't know what the hell he had in there. And all of a sudden, he's, he's like, I'm out of here. I got to get out of this place. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> got to get out of the place. He can't get out of the He's on the show and he's getting out of the place. Man. I've never heard of anything like that. Then he wants to be on again. A.J. Benza lasted two months. <laughs> <laughs> you had your shot. See you, man. Take care. <laughs> All right, Corky. So long, hey. man. Take it easy. Take care. <laughs> I remember the old Corky with Cadillac chassis talking a big game. I like this Corky. He's got an energy. Right? He's a phone guy, though. Yeah, He's definitely. We should have had him call in on the phone, maybe. Right. He's interesting. And maybe he wouldn't have freaked out. Yeah, he should have called in last night. Why didn't he call in? He's got the right temperature and the right lighting at home. Uh, Jeff, go ahead in Youngstown, Ohio. Hey, what's up, Howard? Hey. Hey, uh, I wanted to see if JD pulled the clip where Ronnie was, like, fumbling around with the whole used car issue. Like, he, like these guys didn't even understand what he was even trying to say. It was weird. Like, he said he had a whole agenda of what, like, he was supposed to talk about. <laughs> you pull that clip? There is a clip, used cars, uh... It's probably in the second column in red. Yeah, I got a, oh, I got great. A little, it's great. It got a little twisted. It's All right. twisted. Let's, I got let's, a little let's, twisted. Let's, All right, let's it got listen. a lot twisted. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Let's off. listen oh. to the clip. All right. Let's 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 move on. Let's move on. All right, what's what's <laughs> what are the advantages of, of used cars? What is what what is a good tip for buying a used car? I mean, what are the advantages? <laughs> Mike, you should know about this. I mean, this is your expertise, isn't it? Um, yes and no. I mean, the, so two, the, the two guys deal? sitting next to me, they sell plenty of used cars also. Dude, I'm, they I'm make hitting, more I'm, money dude, on used cars no, no, than no, I no, do. No, 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 dude. I'm hitting you up on this one. <laughs> no, I understand. What are the advantages of used cars? Um, the bi the biggest advantage, tell me if you guys agree, is uh, it's already depreciated. Absolutely. Really? It's already depreciated. Right? You know, but, it's, uh, Ronnie, are you asking how to best buy a used car? No. What is the advantage of buying the, a used car? The biggest car? advantage over, over a new that's car. That's it. Right? The that's biggest it, right? advantage yeah. is that it's already depreciated. Yeah. The, the same car, a year <laughs> newer, it might be another five or six grand. Five or six grand in your payment might be another seventy-five. I got to admit, the show does kind of sound like one of those. Uh, so why is that my fault? These guys can't answer a fucking question. Well, yeah. Well, What's you wrong picked them to do the show, with, right. didn't you? No. Basically, no, I didn't. Who like, picked them? I heard that like you get confused when there's production elements. So they put that little fancy music stinger behind you, and you freaked out. No, I didn't. Right. No, what that's are you what talking that's, about? that's the note I got. He what said, note? You're not comfortable with the production. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's what I got. Go away. You asked the guy the advantage of what's the advantage of a used car. He basically said it's used. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, is that, is that that's my fault? No, I'm saying the guy. The guy is supposed to be a fucking expert in selling used. Finding used cars for people. I gotta huh? admit, the show kind of sounds like one of those public access shows yeah. that they prank, that Sal and Richard prank. You know what I mean? Yeah, they, they're ripe for a Sal call. Yeah. Um, maybe I should, you know, just define what I think of love. It's being understanding of the other person, being patient. That's my definition of love. Phone call. Yes. Hello. Hello. How are you folks doing today? <laughs> okay, we're got a lot of people calling. Sure. Good question. Great, uh, thanks. Keep calling. Oh, yeah, this is a great show. I, I'd like to, to give my input on this subject. Yes, yeah, okay. sure. Well, my definition of love, uh, I love that girl in the scuffs, huge titties. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Hang on. But he's the last phone call. Hello? Yes, I wanted to ask uh, that white bitch a question. <laughs> oh, hang on. Yeah. I wanted to know, um, are you dating the black guy? Or are you? I want to. What? She's not white. She's not even white. Oh. This is fake. This is not love. This is total disrespect. That's a very big part of love. Yeah. Uh, uh, am I there? Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? All right. <laughs> I wanted to talk about love and lust. All right. Okay. Go ahead. For me, I love to dip my cock in hot. See, we just, <laughs> Jesus. All right, Phil, we got we got to screen these calls a little bit. How about we don't send any more calls in at, at all? Yeah, screen these calls. At least use a real voice. What kind of dumb voice was that? Just <laughs> use a better voice. We have anyone who would call with a mature question issue? You have another call. Uh. Okay. I just tried this one out. taking calls. I hope this call is good. <laughs> Hello? You got to go from life. Hi. Uh, more calls. Hi. Hi. How are you guys tonight? Okay. Right. Are you going to ask us a good question? <laughs> yeah. For, this is a fascinating topic. I actually teach, uh, teach this topic at a local college. Okay. Good. And to me, what I define my students, uh, like lust for me, is butt fucking a squirrel in Central Park. <laughs> oh, and, um. Alright, get rid of this guy. Bill, we're done taking calls. You're a very sick guy. You get this, this how you get your lust jollies off? Yeah. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> Whoever you guys are, you really, really need professional help <laughs> in the worst kind of way. Um. Okay, what does, uh. Hello? Yeah, hi, how are you? Uh, I don't know if you're going to ask a silly <laughs> question like a lot of other people. No, um, I have a question about my wife and myself. Okay. I'm an African-American male. My name's Lamar. Okay. And basically the issue that I have with my wife is when we have anal sex. Oh, jeez. It's difficult for me to see the shit on my cup. Shut off the, shut off the telephone. <laughs> Guys, just shut it off. Uh, we have animals on the other end. For real, man. <laughs> animals. How do you not laugh at that? Dude, I, I would love getting calls like that. It would have been fucking great. It would have to see the shit on my car. Oh, oh. I love that guy's reaction. Oh. oh. Too, too bad Sal and Rich didn't call in, man. It would have been awesome. Professional hell. <laughs> I don't know. So uh, let's see. Anybody else hear Ronnie's show last night? Uh, go ahead, Dave. Hey, I would love you. Just want to say I, I drive 90 miles one way from Fredericksburg, Virginia, to Fort Meade every day. And if it wasn't for your show, I'd drive my fucking car off a damn bridge. Well, thanks. But, uh, but I, I listened to Ronnie's show, and, I, and the whole reason I listened to it was hoping that Richard or Sal would call in and, and prank it. But it's like listening to a, a biased dealer tell you what, what they want to tell you. They're not going to tell you when the best time to come in and buy a car is every day is a good good time to buy a car so right. i listened for about a half an hour and then then i then i did drive my car off the freaking bridge right. so, well hey, the guy gave it a shot ronnie yeah what the hell yeah wow. well that's not the way i wanted to do the show but whatever what what were your ideas i, I was going to bring in strippers to talk about cars girls that know about cars i was going to do a whole crazy thing uh -huh. who knows you know it's hard it's hard they want to do car dealers and all that nonsense and Go ahead, mark Hey, now. Hey, now. hey uh, Ronnie, I want to wish you condolences on that. Don't show. even start, you man. We went through this last night. Sleeping. What's going on, brother? <laughs> what do you mean, condolences on the show? Yeah, they, yeah. yeah and then the guy goes, uh, one guy goes, um, I'm so, something about his, his mother just died of schneck. Schneck cancer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a reference to miserable men. You know, obviously you don't pay attention to the channel, you little Eugene. No, I don't listen to miserable men. I'm sorry. I'm asleep at that time. Yeah, the popular shows. Yeah, th those are no good. Right? Yeah, okay. I didn't say it was no good, asshole. <laughs> did I say it was no good? <laughs> when did I say it was no good? Everything, everybody has a different kind of show here. Well, JD, yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about the show? I mean, uh, you, I've given you the power over Ronnie's show. You're the only one who, on the staff who listens to it. Uh, what do you think? Can you, can you give us a, some insight into what you're feeling? Well, I, you know, after the last time I felt bad because, you know, I didn't really listen to the whole show. Um, so I definitely took the time to listen to the whole show this Good. time. Uh, uh, to give a, my, you know, a good opinion. And this is gonna shock everyone. Go ahead. But, uh, 
The show's still canceled. <laughs> Sorry, Rob. Okay. Uh, Ronnie can, listen, I, Ronnie can have, uh, like a relationship type show or just something else. I, Ronnie's not the problem. He can? It's the topic. And right. it's not interesting and... Well, maybe Ronnie wants to change it up. Maybe you want this time slot. Maybe bring in a whole new kind of show. Maybe. What do you think? Uh, I got, I got, we have an idea that we've been thinking of, so. What maybe. do you got? It, uh, Richie Wilson came up with this show. It's called What's Your Problem? Okay. And it's like anybody could call in about anything, about the stripper having a problem with her shoes or uh, a, a guy having marital problems, whatever, you know, any kind, right. of, any kind of crazy shit like that. Maybe not. And we have a panel of, of like, crazy girls instead of these fucking boring car dealers. Right. Why well, do they have to be girls? <laughs> Why not? You have a guy. That's my know? thing, man. Because uh, Ronnie wants girls. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Know. Trust me, I know. Why, why, why would I, 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 want, I already talked to the Hemi girl or whatever. I know. Why Why would I want... What was that? Excuse me? Nothing. What'd you no, say? I said, I know how he... I hear how he talked to the Hemi girl. The Hemi girl, yeah. I know he wants a girl. My co-host. <laughs> he has to have a girl. <laughs> he likes having girls. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, it's yeah. also he could go to the clubs and say, hey, you want to be on my show? And then he gives him an entree into the... Yeah, he becomes a big man. Right. I could have guys on too. Okay. You could be on. Oh, well, he's you about have, you have a lot of problems. You might, you know, you might want to, you know, might want to participate. He scores me. He's about a... meeting girls. No, about Ricky meeting, Man, stop Ricky that. Man, Why don't you guys? do a show called like Ronnie's Whore Room? Like where you, <laughs> cool. I, I'm being serious. I don't, I'll, where you go, I'd where love you, to. Where you just interview chicks who like love to fuck and and, and love to like, <laughs> hey, charge money for let's do it. Whore stuff. I'll do it. I'll do it. Maybe go that route. Yeah. Maybe sex is your thing. Who knows? Want to throw in we, some we cars? We can throw some cars. More, in more important than cars. Yeah, we can throw more in some cars. It's like getting fucked with a carburetor. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Wayne, you're on the... Wayne Siegel, you're on Yeah, come on, Wayne. Uh, hi, listen. When we <laughs> went in there, we were told, don't talk over one another, don't get it crazy. And Ronnie was trying to keep us all at base. So we weren't getting nuts with, with the people who were calling in. But nobody called in and said, uh, you know, uh, the show fucking sucks. People were calling with legitimate questions. And it wasn't an advertisement for any car dealer. Right. Uh, so you still want to be on the show? You don't want to be. <laughs> Sounds like you've been replaced Shadison. by a whore. Hey Wayne. <laughs> hey Wayne. If we if we do wait Wayne. If we do a horse show, do you still want to be on it? Sure. All right. Yeah. Wayne just wants to be on. Horse wheels and horse cars and cons vehicles and vaginas. I'm in. All right. All right. <laughs> He's memorized that one. <laughs> Before I called in. All right. Uh... Wayne, good luck. Uh, Wayne from uh, Legend uh, Porsche, Audi, Saab. Yes. Everything. Good guy. Right. Good guy. Volkswagen. All right, Wayne Ski. All right. Bye Wayne now. Siegel, everyone. Co-host with Ronnie on a show that just got canceled. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. So, J.D., you're sticking to your guns on this. <laughs> yeah. You gave him a shot. That's good. Yes. I like that you gave Ron a chance. <clears throat> you still say it's the most boring show ever. No more. Right. No more car. No more car buying, dealing, whatever. Sorry. Hey. Mm. I'll go with another topic. I don't care. All right. That's fine. You Maybe sure? try something next week or whenever you go on again. Okay. Get rid of some of those car dealers. And get some yeah, whores exactly. Let some whore, let's get some whores in there. Yeah, maybe maybe you'll have more luck with whores. Yeah. Sure, J.D., because remember the classic story. Seinfeld was only picked up for four episodes, and then they found the magic. You don't want to mm. give them two more to see if you can find the magic? I don't know what magic you can get from uh, learning about consumer credit issues. All right, fine. <laughs> uh, he's got a point. Or, Might not uh, be a good match for the channel. Or whether yeah. used car, you know, buying a used car is good because it depreciates, depreciated, whatever. I don't know. I zoned out <laughs> 90 <laughs> times during the show. <laughs> I'm just trying to get a clearer picture. Hello. Yeah. So, what do you what do you know about cars? <laughs> what you mean? Yeah. Good. Okay. So, what what about the Camaro? Yeah, I'm the one who got it. What? Yeah, it's a piece of shit. It's an X. It's an XLR. It's a Cadillac. It's built on a fucking Cadillac fucking goddamn platform. It's a Cadillac. <laughs> who are you talking to? It's a piece of shit. Go look at the what Dodge Challenger. Have? Where you at, motherfucker? Rick's Cabaret. <laughs> Where's that at? Because I'll come right to your ass. I said the Camaro's a piece of shit. You a piece of shit. Wait a minute, dude. You call up here with this whole shit attitude. Who, you just call me, you dumbass? <laughs> yeah, I'll fuck you, man. No, oh, fuck you, you Yankee. Where have you at? I'll beat your fucking ass. <laughs> fuck face. I'm in <laughs> Georgia. My name is Why don't you come find me then, you stupid piece of shit? Why are you getting on my case for? Hello? Yeah, how many toy cars do you have on your wall? Man, I don't, who is this and what's your problem? What are you talking about, a fucking Camaro? No, I didn't say that. Did you hear me say that? You the one called me cussing said a Camaro was a piece of shit. I said the Camaro is a piece of shit. That's what I said. 
What Camaro? It's a piece of shit. Go look at the Dodge Challenger. <laughs> what in the fuck are you even talking about? I don't give a fuck about no Dodge Challenger. Yeah, it's a piece of shit. It's an, X, it's an XLR. It's a Cadillac. But what do you mean? Uh, are you talking about a new Camaro? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I got an old Camaro, man. I got a 69 Camaro. This ain't Hot Rod Magazine, pal. <laughs> you don't know shit, pal. So fuck yourself. <laughs> Hello? What do you care what I drive? Well, who are you, motherfucker? Ernie Irvin. Where you at? With your little pussy ass. I'll beat the brakes off of you if you come to... Vegas, Rick's Cabaret. Vegas, Rick's Cabaret. Yeah, exactly. You must be a fucking faggot. Yeah, I'll fuck you, man. Don't call me again, motherfucker. If you call me again, I don't even know what you're talking about. Wow. Oh, wow. You're great, man. Don't you suck my dick, you son of a bitch. No, you know, you're a faggot. I take that back. Fuck face. I tell you what, come to Charles and I'll beat your ass. Don't call my phone again. <laughs> All right, Ronnie taking on uh, some guy. <laughs> some guy from North Carolina. <laughs> All right, so, J.D., you approve of Ronnie getting some other kind of show? Yeah, that's fine. All right, well, I'll put you in charge of that one, too. Okay. All right. All right. He doesn't do yeah. well with that. All right, whatever. All right, thank you, J.D. Thanks, thank Ronnie. Cool. All right, thanks, thank man. Right. Good luck. All right. Good luck with your new show. Thank you. All right. Ronnie's going to get some girls on there. and <laughs> See if that doesn't work. Yeah, maybe, maybe that'll spice things up. <laughs> like when he has Ronnie, who he is, and he goes, Ernie Irvin. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you? Rick's Cabaret in Vegas. It's a Cadillac. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Camaro. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, uh, there's the uh, moratorium on, I mean, no, there's the. The eulogy. The, the, the wrap-up. I think we just put the car show in the crematorium. That's yeah. What yeah. yeah, there you go. All right. So let me take a break. Uh, we'll come back. We'll continue the show. Uh, 